Hi, this is Hope, and today is Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2018. Uh, yesterday, I was looking through my PDFs that I had created over the years, and one of them kind of stood out to me, and I, I just randomly opened it and started to read it, and I came across what I believe is a fulfilled prophecy. Now, it's it's possible that it's still in the works, so bear with me as we look at this together and as we keep our eyes on what's going on in the next few weeks and months. But I, if this is actually coming to pass now, in my opinion, it is the first domino in, in the United States fall. So in this uh, prophecy, the actual prophecy fulfillment is from a Julie Wedby word. And that word is from... September in 2015, and I'm just going to read you a portion of it. It says, okay, he said this country, meaning the United States, is a house of cards, and when the first judgment hits, it will hit the top card at the heart of America where it would hurt the most, the heart of the nation, he said, and then the rest will fall like cards. He said Jerusalem is surrounded by her enemies, as the word says it will be at the end, and that the United States will betray her in her moment of greatest need. This will bring the first judgment poured out. And Julie says, and I feel, I feel I understand this to be financial, but the rest immediately following. He showed me financial transactions all over the world and the money turning to dust and being blown away in the winds. Okay, so that's the first thing that would happen. Now, in my mind, I always thought the earthquake would happen, that we would, that would split the United States when Trump makes a, de a declaration, that's what I call it, of splitting Israel. But he hasn't done that yet. Supposedly, it's going to be done early in 2019. But like I said, I randomly opened up this PDF, found um, in the, within the PDF, which is not even related to this in any way, but I found within it this particular word from Julie, so I started to research it. I believe the Holy Spirit has given me guidance in finding something that's being fulfilled. So what we see here, the, the important things are that the United States will betray Israel. Okay, now, what did we find out happen on December 20th? On December 20th, Trump announced the Syrian... Uh, pull out of our troops from Syria, the United States troops, which will leave Israel with no soldiers from the United States in the Middle East that I'm aware of. Now, I could be wrong because I, I, I'm not real specific on watching every single detail. You know, we've got some uh, daughter in the hospital and that's occurred for a year and a half. And so my mind isn't 100% focused on these end time events to the point where I, I look up all the details like I used to. However, like I said, this is big. And so if this is coming to pass, it is the first domino, if you will. So let's look at this a little bit more. Trump pulling out of Syria. So we have a headline from uh, Israel that says, well, actually, this is called the ugly truth. Departing Matus cancels trip to Israel, saying Israel feels betrayed on Syria decision. Okay, so uh, there's been other officials, you know, that have talked about this. And that word betray or betrayal has been showing up in the news um, on the, some of these headlines, as you guys know, the ones that are really watching for it. So right there is a betrayal of the United States from Israel. And I got to tell you. When Trump decided to do this, I was surprised. Now, I'm, I'm for Trump to the extent that God put him in office and God is using him to carry out what, God, what God's will is. I'm all for that. So it doesn't matter to me who he uses to do his will. In this case, he's using Trump. So fine, I'm, I'm wa watching that. So this pullout of Syria totally floored me. Well... I believe that that actual pullout, um, I got in touch with, well, Charlene got in touch with me. She was asking me, didn't she have a vision that, that kind of alluded to that? And she's right. So here's this page I was telling you about. It's a fulfilled prophecy page on my website, and I'll put a link below. 
But this one uh, I wrote up last week because Charlene had a vision of uh, Trump closely walking along a white fence. And he looked concerned and burdened. You can see that there. And she said that Jesus said, um, continue to pray for Trump. But in her, in her vision, she understood that Trump will undergo pressure from others in the government to make choices he may not entirely agree with. So when he decided to pull out of Syria, I thought, why, why would you do that? I thought you were a friend of Israel. I don't understand why you're doing this. And I believe he didn't really want to do this, but he's doing it for reasons that are being dealt with behind closed doors. Uh, another friend of mine said something very um, full of insight as far as I'm concerned, and that is that perhaps Trump has made a deal that if he pulls out of Syria, then part of this peace plan or some of the countries or some of the leaders will fall into play, will come into the table because he has pulled out. So that's, that's an aside. We can look at that you know, at some other time and we'll watch that going forward. But for now, what we see is that Charlene's vision about him walking the line, not understanding, we, we not understanding what's going on has come to pass on the fulfilled prophecy. All right, so now we've discussed Syria, the Syria pullout and the betrayal of Israel. So when we go back to Julie's vision, what do we see will happen? Okay, financial, that's what she says. So it's not about a, a geographical problem, geological problem, it is about financial. So you guys in the United States know what's happened. The Dow Jones has really, really closed out poorly this week. In fact, this particular last week was the worst week in the past 10 years. So suddenly things are happening in the financial world of the United States and, and the world really. It's just, it's just starting. See, that's, that's why you got to watch it. So this happened last week. So as I read this yesterday, it came to mind, and this was on Sunday, as it came to mind that if the Dow Jones fell again today on Monday on Christmas Eve, then I felt like this was coming to pass and God would want me to do this video. So again, like I said, it's something that we have to watch. It's, it's possible it's starting to fall. I mean, at this particular point in time, the government has shut down due to the budget not being passed, which does happen from time to time. It's all about the wall over that they want to build in Mexico. I personally feel that at some point Trump's going to give in just to get the budget up and running, just so, and also that the refugees and immigrants will indeed be allowed to come in. So that's an aside. Meanwhile, back to the financial, we're falling, and in today, Today is just, like I said, Christmas Eve. Stocks fall hard, extending last week's big sell-off. And you can find other titles, other news headlines that say, this is the worst Christmas Eve Dow Jones fall ever. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely happening. These people are, are, you know, they're watching, they're watching their money go to pieces. And it's, it's almost being shredded. I mean, there's other dreams and visions about money being shredded, money, you know, falling. So that's what's happening. The Dow Jones falling big time. Okay, so that was, uh, I did receive more confirmations on the way. Well, you don't care where I was at, but I was at the hospital. But other confirmations, and, and the, these things were like boom, boom, boom. And I, it got to the point, you know, when you have a confirmation where you, you almost have to laugh because it's like, okay, okay, I get it, I'm gonna do it. So here's the video. Now, so the dominoes are falling for the United States. Now, one more thing that we can kind of watch at, during this time is John Paul Jackson's headlines, okay? So in this particular case, we've got New Year's next week. Now, I don't know if this is going to be anything that happens. New Year's terror, out with the new, in with the old. And if you don't know uh, John Paul Jackson's headlines, you can just, um, this was something he, he had a vision of in 2008, and he said, most of these headlines will all come to pass within 10 years, especially towards the end. Well, guess what, that's now. So here's one of them that we can watch for. Not saying it's gonna happen this New Year's, but it could. The other thing that I find very interesting is 
the NFL posts all games until answers found. Okay, so the the National Football League has a couple more games to play. As of today, there my husband says because he he knows more than me, the that you know there's one more game that our particular team, the Indianapolis Colts, plays on Sunday that may or may not put them in the playoffs. Okay, so the playoffs are coming. So there's there's a handful of games left, and then the Super Bowl. So I don't know if this is the year that the NFL posts all games until something's found. We don't even know what happens. Others have had visions of uh, football stadiums having bombs in them and uh, all kinds of, of kinds of problems. So one of them was even in Lisa's visions, and I'll put one. Uh, I'll put her link down below as well. So that's really all I wanted to say was that, you know, we, uh, we've got things to watch here, and it could very well be that this prophecy of the United States first falling into financial turmoil is coming to pass. Uh, I know a lot of you have plans of what you're going to do when this happens, so I'm saying watch, you know, let's watch, especially through the end of the year, and, you know, John Paul Jackson, he's got some headlines, too. Those are, those are a specific timeline, a specific date. Don't know if it's this coming year or not, but we'll see. There's a lot happening right now. And I'm glad you're with me to watch all this together. Thanks, guys.